Hello, history scholars, Mrs. Olson here. We've been studying about ancient India, and today's lesson is about what was everyday life like in the Indus River Valley. Okay, in the course module, you will see the link for this website that we are on right now, and it was created by the BBC. BBC stands for British Broadcasting Corporation. It's actually the world's oldest broadcasting company. Okay, when you get to this page, you are going to click on Let's Go or This V, and it brings you to the first page of the website. So what you need to do is read all of the text on each page, and when you are done, you can click on the next page. So this example is page two. Now, this is considered an interactive website because, like it says right here, click around to find out more about daily life in the Indus Valley. So each of these figures you can click on and it brings up more information, okay? So you wanna click on each of these four figures to learn about what it was like, what kind of jobs they did, what they did every single day. And when you're done with those, you click on to the next page and so on and so forth. All right, I'm going to go over to your assignment. And beginning with the learning target, it reads, distinguish true from false statements and compose a correct statement. When you distinguish something, you tell the difference between. So scrolling down, I have written eight statements. And there are a few of them that are incorrect. They are false, okay? So you have to distinguish. You have to tell the difference between the true and the false ones. And then you are going to write a corrected statement, okay? Now, before we get to that part, uh, your entry task is to name one tool that you use every day. Now, you don't have to tell me why you use it. You just have to name that one tool. Okay. Use the website from the BBC Bite Size. And that's the one that we were just on right here. Okay. And so you are using that information to help you determine if these statements are true or false. So you can flip back and forth between the website and the assignment. And you can write T's or F, T for true, uh, F for false, right here, okay? Now, I will not tell you which ones are the false ones. You have to make that decision, which one is false. And if it is false, you have to provide an explanation regarding why or what makes that statement false. Use specific details from the website as evidence for your corrected statement. So when you write the corrected statement, you have to use information from that page that shows why this statement is false and the info that makes it correct. Okay. Now, as with most of your assignments, I want you to use a different color or, or font so that I can easily tell which one is your writing and which one is my writing. All right, guys, once again, in a nutshell, use this website, read every single page, read these statements, say whether they are true or false, and if they are false, you are writing why the statement is false, and use information from the website to correct it. Let me know if you have questions. Hope you learned a lot. Bye.